The Darlington Throwback Weekend is already underway with the Truck Series practicing, and they got their race tonight. But today, we're going to look at some Cup Series throwbacks, my top five favorite throwbacks from 2023. Yes, I have five of them already listed up, got the pictures pulled up. I'm going to show you guys the pictures as well. But first, we're going to go through some honorable mentions. There are four of them. Uh, honorable mentions, there's never like a hard number. Is it two? Is it three? Is it five? Uh, I picked four. I don't know why four, but I did. Noah Gregson throwing back to Jimmy Johnson, his 2014 Coca-Cola 600 win. Kyle Larson throwing back to Tony Stewart uh, back in the late 2000s. Uh, Xfinity ride, I believe. Uh, Tyler Reddick throwing back to Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch, of course, losing in that Closest finish in NASCAR history, or now tied for closest finish in NASCAR history with Ricky Craven. And that paint scheme is uh, significant because Kurt Busch used to drive that car, the 45 car, and his first year out, they throw back to him. Of course, that car has been thrown back to before. And Chase Briscoe throwing back to his owner and hero, Tony Stewart. But it's a non-NASCAR car, which uh, was a nice touch, and it's a very nice paint scheme. But now to the top five. All right. The fact of the matter is, you guys are going to disagree with me on some of these. Some of you guys are going to have some higher. Some of you are going to have some of these not even on your top five list. I want to hear what you have to say. Tell me what your top five list is out of the Darlington throwbacks, but this is my top five. Uh, you guys are going to either yell at me, say I'm wrong, or some of you may agree with me, but this is my top five. Starting off with number five, Eric Almarola. Eric Almarola, there's no real, like, big significance to this like it's not like you throw back to you know a family member or anything but it's to the 2001 pepsi 400 car that dale earnhardt jr drove uh, of course dale earnhardt jr in 2001 at that pepsi 400 won that race it was the first race at daytona uh since dale earnhardt senior died at the same track uh the baseball paint scheme that is so well known one of the most memorable moments in NASCAR history, probably a top three at maybe top five at worst moment in NASCAR history. Paint scheme is known by almost every single NASCAR fan. And uh, Eric Almarola throwing back to it, he said that the team asked him, what do you want to do for a paint scheme this year for Darlington? And he picked this one. Really cool paint scheme. Really cool that they were able to use the colors, kind of the baseball theme. You can kind of see some stitches down there because that was part of the original scheme. You got a pitcher on the side there. Um, but yeah, really cool paint scheme. Really, really cool. That's my number five. Number four, this one may be a little bit more recency bias because, uh, we didn't think this was happening two weeks ago, but Ryan Newman throwing, throwing it back to himself. A uh, really good looking paint scheme, really good looking race car. Um, just the fact that Jacob and Biohaven were willing to cooperate with the paint scheme, willing to cooperate uh, with changing their logos and colors to look just like the Mobile One uh, logos and the Mobile One color scheme makes it even better. You know, we see some of these throwbacks and, you know, they look cool in color, but the sponsors don't want to change the fonts or they don't want to change their logo or something. Or in Monster's case, they have to have a black box around their logo for some reason. But in this case, both of them were willing to change their fonts they were able they were willing to change their colors to make it look just like that mobile one number 12 Pinsky ford from back in the day and ryan newman looks like he is driving back in 2003 i guess i don't remember what year this is to but he drove that car a lot of years but uh, great to see ryan newman back on the racetrack obviously and uh, to see this paint scheme again is really really cool i love this throwback number three on this list Chase Elliott and his throwback to his father. Elliott has done throwbacks to his father, I believe, before. But this one, I think, strikes closer to home for him. He was able to attend races when his dad drove this paint scheme back in the early 2000s, uh, back when Bill Elliott was with Ray Evernham at, uh, what, what was it called? Evernham Motorsports, Evernham Racing, whatever it was called. Bill Elliott drove the number nine Dodge car. Uh, and the fact that they were able to get the font was the coolest part for me, uh, for the nine. Yeah, the paint scheme's pretty basic, honestly. Like, you know, it's it's pretty basic. If they weren't able to get the font, it it, it would have been a pretty dull throwback. But the fact 
that they were able to get the font is the coolest part to me. It blows it out of the water. Uh, the number nine with the little tail there and the font. I know Casey Kane also drove this car, so a former teammate of Chase Elliott. So in a sense, it's like a, it's a double, you know? I know it's more for Bill Elliott, but you know, you can also get Casey Kane in there. Uh, but really cool paint scheme. The fact that Lumar was able to, or willing to change their colors to change the number of the car. Then the little happy Mother's Day note there at the end, because Mother's Day is this Sunday. It's really, really cool touch. So a uh, really good looking throwback, really good looking car. Number two, we have another father-son duo. Harrison Burton and his father, Jeff Burton, and I love this throwback scheme. It's a throwback to Jeff Burton's 1999 car uh, when he was with Roush, and I feel like this is, oh, it's so beautiful. The, this shade of pink is beautiful, first of all. I know Harrison Burton's thrown it back to his father before, but uh, this shade of pink is beautiful. The accuracy is beautiful. You got the little kind of, not striped, but like the curve with the gray and then the black. And then you got the black going throughout the back. You got the pink on the front. It's a beautiful race car. I love it. And of course, the father-son connection makes it even cooler. Um, but beautiful paint scheme, beautiful colors, uh, beautiful everything. It was very well done. Uh, similar to the Elliott scheme, I would say. Just the father-son connection is really cool. Uh, but for this one, obviously more detail on this one. And it's pretty accurate, I would say. I love this paint scheme. It's beautiful, great looking paint scheme. And now for my number one paint scheme for throwbacks. Kyle Busch throwing back to himself from earlier this year. No, I kid you not. Um, Kyle Busch is not doing a real throwback. Uh, he's just running the same Lucas Oil paint scheme he ran at Fontana and won at with his first win at RCR. So RCR decided to do some trolling and they said, uh, we're throwing it back to our first win with Kyle Busch, which is like, two months ago, which is, it's honest, it's pretty funny. A lot of people got to think like, oh, dude, you don't run a throwback. But, you know, if they're not going to run a throwback, at least kind of make fun of yourself for it. And I thought that was hilarious. But on a serious note, my number one, people are going to call me biased for this one. I probably am. But William Byron's throwback to Jeff Gordon from 1998, Jeff Gordon ran this paint scheme in the All-Star Race in honor of NASCAR's 50th anniversary. The gold number 24 DuPont Chevrolet, now Exalta. Byron won the throwback schemes last year. He wins it again this year in my book because it's throwbacks to Gordon. And once again, I am biased. But seriously, this is a beautiful car. The renderings are beautiful, but the actual car, the pictures that they've shown from the track today, oh, oh. Beautiful race cars. Um, the gold, the rainbow across the top, uh, the Chevy logo on the hood, just just beautiful. I know it looks weird with the Chevy actually on the nose of the car, but you know, back in the 90s, it was actually on the hood. Um, but beautiful race car. Uh, the accuracy, obviously. The 24, obviously, still the same. The sponsor, still the same, but a different name now. Uh, Exalta needs more races. You got to get rid of the Raptor car, man. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, but the fact that Exalta is no longer on the car and it's Raptor, the black and white Raptor, when Exalta usually puts out beautiful multicolored paint schemes is absolutely outrageous. <sighs> it's so sad. And the fact that if Raptor gets Darlington next year and doesn't do a throwback to what was it? What year was that? The 1995, 1997? all-star race the raptor car like the jurassic park car if they don't do that i'm going to be outraged there is literally only one paint scheme out except for raptor and that would be it but seriously let me know what your thoughts are on the throwback schemes from this year i listed you my top five let me hear your top five and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video probably we're definitely getting a race recap sunday i'm not sure if we're doing anything tomorrow but if there's news i'll let you know so thanks for watching